What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2021 Series 10 video. Today I'm going to be trying out this Moltres team. It's something that I built uh, a couple of days ago that I had the idea for, but I haven't tested too much yet. This isn't necessarily going to be one of those, look at this absolutely busted team I made videos, and more one of those, hey, I had this idea and I haven't tested it yet, so I'm going to test it on video sort of thing. So yeah, uh, this could go either way, but before we get into it, I do want to mention that Hannah VGC had this idea prior to me. I want to shout her out for that. It's uh, Xerneas supported by Rocky Helmet Flame Body Moltres. And yeah, it's just really cool. It helps beat Zacian and Urshu Rapid Strike, which is kind of fun. And uh, helps wall out Rillaboom really well. In fact, uh, Rocky Helmet Moltres with Roost is really hard to get around if you can get rid of a certain Pokemon. It almost becomes its own win condition. And if you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications because I bring you daily Pokemon Sword and Shield content. And that's my comic question of the day. Out of the six variants of the Kanto regional birds, which is your favorite? I'm personally a big fan of Articuno, but it's recently been dethroned by Galarian Zapdos. So yeah, uh, we have a Rocky Helmet Moltres with Flame Body, Flamethrower, Air Slash, Protect, Roost. Just able to tank Urshu Rapid Strikes hits. Um, and deal massive damage with Rocky Helmet plus Flame Body. It's also able to wall out Zacian, even if it's at plus one. Uh, Roost is great for just recovery stuff, and it's mainly just meant to be a standard Xerneas team with the fire type allocated solely to Moltres because it's able to deal with so many Pokemon. Uh, yeah, it's really nothing special beyond that. The rest is very standard. So let's go ahead and get into it. Hopefully, I can get some wins. <laughs> I'm pretty tired. I'm hoping it'll be a, a fun little video, but even if I lose, I'm going to upload it anyways. Like if I just get like three losses in a row, it's whatever. As uh, we face something pretty interesting here, we see a, um, not a Pumpkaboo, what is it called? A Gorgeist. Probably going to be running Trick or Treat, making it a lot more difficult to switch in on the Calyrex Shadow. Um, It's actually a bit of a problematic matchup for me. I should be able to go with the Xerneas lead pretty well. Hmm. I think Xerneas Moltres isn't bad. Definitely want to protect. I could go um, Xerneas Urshfu actually, and that isn't terrible. I'm going to bring the Rillaboom in the back. I think my last Mon is going to be the Stack Attack here. So they do go with the Gorgeist Calyrex. Now one would assume this Gorgeist is about to trick or treat me. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go for the Protect and the Surging Strikes. Hopefully uh, Surging Strikes into like an Aqua Jet will be enough. Uh, I am pretty much anticipating the Cerneus to absolutely body me in a moment. I could also just go right into Rillaboom and Surging Strikes. And I think I'm going to do that. That's probably my best interest. They trick or treat me. Are they? Is that a priority move? Or are they just like Scarf? Huh. No, it's not. They are just straight up Choice Scarf. Interesting. It's pretty cool. Um, I think this still KOs by just Grassy Glide Aqua Jet. Going to the anti. Still in range of another Aqua Jet, I believe. Aqua Jet did 45%, so that will let me to KO. Uh, let me go ahead and go right into my Xerneas here and Aqua Jet once more. They could go for the extreme speed if they even have it. So they do not. I'm going to get rid of that Entei. Go for the Moonblast, and uh, I can go into my Rillaboom here, get some Fake Out Pressure, or at the very least, uh, scare off that Calyrex. I'm actually pretty scared to do this. Because a lot of these Whimsicott are running, uh, <laughs> a lot of these Whimsicott are running Encore. I mean, the Sash is typically on the Mian Shao. I guess what I could do here is I could Geomancy and go straight into Stack Attacka. All right, suppose that's another alternative. 
I'll gyro ball here. I actually don't mind that outcome. The choice scarf is going to be pretty useful now that I outspeed the Calyrex. And I can always just do this. I mean, I could also trick room, but I think I'm better outside of trick room now. This is an interesting little team. Moonblast me, it's gonna do like nothing. Power whip me. It's fine. Get a nice little defense boost. I'm gonna go straight into the Rillaboom. And uh, I'm gonna attempt to Gyro Ball you. Pretty sure I lose both my Mons here, but I actually only really need to KO the Calyrex to win. Nice. Okay. Uh, let me go ahead and Moonblast. I could try to predict the Calyrex to protect, but it's not really worth it. So they missed their Power Whip. That's phenomenal for me. It's probably going to do a ton, but it is a Gorgai small. I'm pretty sure they lose a bit of their attack power. Fail to protect. Awesome. God, that does a ton. Okay, I'm going to need you to miss for me. I don't feel like losing to Gorgast. I'm going to need you to miss for me. Yeah, nice. All right, GG. <laughs> that was interesting. That was, a, that was a real interesting first match. Hopefully we can face like a Zacian. Hey, there we go. Now, this whole team absolutely hates Moltres. Except for the Regieleki. So typically what I'll do versus this is lead off uh, Moltres Landorus. Because it actually lends me... Um, a lot more wiggle room when it comes to beating Regieleki on lead. And it also just threatens a lot. Uh, Xerneas in the back is also really nice now because we have a solid switch into uh, any move from the Zacian. I think my last Mon is pretty much always going to be the... Uh... Dang, this is actually kind of tough. Um, I want to say Stack Attacka, but it's really not my best play. I think Urshfu is actually my best play. So they actually go with the Amoongus and Urshifu. I could actually get rid of Amoongus pretty early if they Rage Powder here. Go for the Flamethrower Earth Power. I actually don't mind that. Uh, I have been nanated. I really thought they might not be Scarf. <laughs> but it turns out they were Scarf. And I am the fool. A little haiku for you. I am the fool who thought they were not going to be Scarf, but they were. Dang, I just got an <laughs> Um, I mean, I guess my play here is going to be to Moonblast crit. Can you burn? Can you burn, please? Really? Are you pads? No, there it is. Okay, dang, I just got like the worst luck on that. That kind of sucked. Alright. Um, no reason not to Surging Strikes. No reason not to Fish for a Geomancy. <sighs> Had he gotten burned on any one of those besides the last one, I actually would have been in a pretty good spot. That Landorus is gone. I actually kind of wish it would survive because then I could... <laughs> then I could Aqua Jet and go for another Geo. Alright, there's the Zacian. Uh, it's in my best interest to Surging Strikes and Protect here. More likely than not, even though I'm asleep, they're going to try to KO me. They do go for that. And uh, that's going to be game. I'm going to get redirected and uh, I'm going to lose there. Dang, that sucks. That was actually... <sighs> that could have been really nice. That could have been really nice. But I was hoping they would take the bait. And they would uh, go for the Surging Strikes like immediately. Okay, so we're facing a Calyrex Ice Torkoal team, along with um, famous After You Lilligan. Hmm. Their team really doesn't like Stack Attacka. I can go Stack Lando lead. 
and they have very limited options for dealing with that. In the back, um, Urshfu doesn't seem that bad. And I actually might just leave the Xerneas at home and go Moltres here. Like, Xerneas doesn't do that much for me. Like, for this whole team, Xerneas gets bodied. This is very anti Zern. So I end up going uh, stack in DD. I'm going to go ahead and. I'm going to attempt to body press right here in Earth Power. It's likely to get redirected, anyways. I get a crit. Okay. I mean, amazing. Amazing. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay, you want to see uh want to see Nene play of the year? They're going to body press me back. They're going to be like, "I bet you I can win this." They're going to say, "I bet you I can win the speed tie." They're going to Oh, I just bumped my microphone. They're going to go for it and uh, they're, they're going to die to Rocky Hum and Moltres. All right, there's the Torkoal. Going to go into my Moltres and protect here. I, I really want them to go for the body press. Please go for the body press. Or it'd be even better if they went for like body press earth power. Come on. Body press, you know you want to. Oh, they gyroballed. All right, that, that works too. That works too. Um, I suppose I protect here. Do I really need this Lando to win? Probably. I also probably need the Moltres. I'm going to go into my stack. I'm going to go stack Urshi and it's not the end of the world. They're going to rock slide here. Incredible. Absolutely phenomenal. Uh, let me go ahead and go for my own rock slide. I can also Aqua Jet into the stack to guarantee I get a KO. Actually, uh, it's probably my best interest just to body press. So they don't have any options for that. Body press protect doesn't seem bad. Even if they go into Torkoal, it's like not the end of the world. Actually, I should rock sled. Get the KO. That's going to be a defense boost. Interesting thing went for the high horsepower there. All right. And they set up the sun for me. I actually definitely just win now. Yeah, no, I rock slide here. And uh, I can attempt a close combat. They can't defend versus this either. And one would assume they would earth power my stack. Rock slide, nice. Go for the eruption. And uh, Urshu doesn't die to anything. So that's going to be a dead Calyrex. Nice. GG's. Dang, I was really hoping I could do something cheeky with that uh, Moltres right there. With the stack attack. I was hoping it'd be body press. He would have been in for a big surprise. Alright. Ooh, another Trick Room team. Huh. I mean, this team also really hates Moltres. I'm actually going to lead off with it. Uh, I think Moltres lead is pretty nice here. Moltres Lando actually looks really nasty. Or even Moltres stack. I'm going to go Moltres stack, actually. Hmm. Ah, <coughs> oh, there we go. I'm already coughing. Uh, Dang, I really want to bring the Lando, but I'm going to get bodied if I do. I guess I bring Rillaboom here. Rillaboom for fake out doesn't seem bad. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Okay. 
Yeah, so I would assume that they would just go for the trick room here. I'm actually going to trick room on their trick room because I don't want them to get off trick room. Actually, no, I do want them to get off trick room. What am I saying? They're going to take Rocky Helmet damage too. I suppose I could body press that in Sin. <laughs> yeah, Rock Slide's my best play regardless. I'll do that. Gonna get a burn. So they go for the trick room. Nice. Um, yeah, no, I really see no reason not to gyro ball flamethrower the Mimikyu. Like all things, or I guess I could also rock slide flamethrower and it'd be about as effective. Go for the lash out. They're gonna take some Rocky Helmet. Go for the play rough. Can I get a burn? I'm about to roost on them next turn, just so you know. I'm just going to put that out there. They're about to get roosted on. All right, yeah. And now, now I go for the gyro ball on the Mimikyu for the safe KO. And roost. And they have very few switch-ins to this. They really do. They have very few. Come on, give me the Mimikyu. You know you want to give me the Mimikyu. I wish I could body press onto that. But uh, unfortunately, I cannot as it is a ghost type. Ah, nice. Get my first defense boost. There's the Flare Blitz as they get roosted on. Get absolutely roosted on, boy. And now uh, they should understand what's going on. There's the Cali. There's the Cali Ice. Hmm. I should be able to body press this Incineroar like every time and go into my Rillaboom for fake out pressure next turn. I could even just flamethrower. I could stay in and flamethrower. It's a bit safer. Get that plus two. There's no way they KO me now. The Glacial Lance. Oh yeah, that just bounces off of Moltres too. Can I get a burn? Oh god, their weakness policy. Oh god. Uh, they should be in range of body press anyway, so it's really not the end of the world. They get in Lurantis. Uh, let me go ahead and... Yeah, uh, looks like Moltres is going to be the absolute goat for the rest of this game. I'm going to sack my Urshifu. Actually, no. Um, yeah, I sack the Urshifu. Go for the body press. They gave me that nice crit. Definitely did not matter there. And uh, I should be able to go for the close combat into the body press. They end up losing the Moltres anyways. Actually, let me just go right into Moltres. Give him a little surprise. Yeah, I hope you don't expect to beat this. Let me roost up. Go for the fake out. Looks like Moltres is the perfect tool for this game. Yeah, he's about to get the message. Go for the flamethrower, go for the U-turn. It legitimately doesn't matter. Like, ooh, he's got the uh, fireberry. That would have done so much too, oh my god. Superpower bounces off of me. And yeah, he should get the message now. Go for this flamethrower, go for this... Uh, Suppose I could Aqua Jet myself for the meme. Nah, it doesn't matter. All right, nice. GG. All right, uh, how long are we recording for? It's kind of late for me. 19 minutes? We'll, we'll do one more. Try to get it above like 22 minutes. I'll do one more battle. Maybe two. If, if this one goes really well, I'll do two more. But uh, my laptop's not too powerful, so I have to be careful. Could crash any minute. Oh yeah, my uh, PC's still broken. If you want to help me out, my Patreon's down below. Or you could sub to me on Twitch. Trying to raise money to fix it. Just need a new motherboard. Um, this is my favorite matchup because Torn Ogre players always think they're so cool. They can like lead off Kyogre Tornadus and be like, hmm, what do you think I'm going to do? You should definitely like fake out or grassy glide or something. And then uh, you know, they switch in the, the Zarina. So you just call that like every single time and you win. If you do that, you just straight up win. Uh so we're gonna do this. I'm gonna go Rillaboom Xerneas. Gonna go ahead and bring the 
Numbering the Moltres in the back, I actually have some faith in it for this game for dealing with that Tsarina. And uh, my last one's gonna be the Urshifu. So I end up going with the Tornadus Finny. Like I said, I feel pretty confident right now that they're about to send out the Tsarina. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, kinda wanna get rid of you early. I could also try to Geomancy. Send in your Tsarina, come on. Yeah, there it is. So the Icy Wind me, I'm gonna go ahead and U-turn out. And I'm gonna get in my Moltres. They're gonna be like, oh, whatever shall I do? The Moltres has hit the field. Yeah, uh, let me go ahead and go for this here. Actually, let me, uh... No, I'm just gonna Dazzling Gleam. Dazzling Gleam. Uh, I could Air Slash here to try to catch the possible Kyogre switch in. It's just not worth it, though. Yeah. Gonna get rid of you. And now the Tornadus is gone as well. Nice. Uh, so, <laughs> I hate to break it to this guy, but he just loses to Rillaboom. Let me go for the Protect here. Uh, and I'm gonna sack my guy. Might as well just, like, Protect Air Slash. Pretty much, as soon as Moltres goes down, he loses to the, uh, to the Rillaboom. You can go ahead and Haze, I don't care. Yeah, nice. Alright. Congratulations, you played yourself. Dazzling Gleam, Grassy Glide. Unless you got, like, Misty Surge, Tapu Fini, it's over. All right, how much am I doing? Like half? Nice. Yeah, no, 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 no. No, that's not, that's not happening. I know your max speed with like no bulk. I know you are. You want to know how I know you are? Because we're in the 1200s. Because I have not played enough recently. Because <laughs> we are in the 1200s. You are not running bulk. Come on, bud. Hey, he goes for the double. That's fine. It truly does not make a difference. Yeah, I don't know what you expected. Let me go for the D gleam here. It's even more of a it's even more of a wrap because he stalled out his own tailwind. Alright, yeah, GG. Alright. Uh, let's do one more. I'll do one more. I'll do one more. Cause uh we're only at like we're only at like 22 minutes. So yeah, GLHF. Interesting. Uh, we're facing a Zygarde team. Yo. Yo, why does Moltres Xerneas kind of slap on lead? Someone explain that to me. Like conceptually. Uh, and let me go Urshfu in the back. And I like my Rillaboom. Stack gets bodied here. Like look at all of their stack answers. Now the reason I'm going with Moltres and uh, and Xerneas on lead is because I really don't want to have to deal with that Ferrothorn for the rest of the game. <laughs> That'd be nice if I could get rid of it early. And I'm pretty sure uh, most, they might be running rock coverage, but it's usually like steel coverage on Zygarde, if I remember correctly. Oh yeah, there's the Zygarde. Suppose my play here, they're not Aura Break, dude. They're not Aura Break. I'm gonna go hard into Rillaboom, and I'm actually just gonna go for the Raw Moon Blast. Yeah, no, because now I get to fake out. Fake out, Moon Blast. Can you instruct his Protect? Can you make him protect again? Does that work? Forget how that works. Please don't be ally switch. I really don't feel like playing with that right now. So go Pharaoh. That's fine. We go Encore. Um, I mean, I always go into Xerneas right now. Or I always go uh, into Moltres and now for my Xerneas. This is going to be a long fight. Alright, nice. Now I could get rid of this thing pretty early. 
They have very little defensive options for this. Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna tank that because uh, Orangaroo's damage output's pretty much garbage. All right. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go right into my Rillaboom. Protect, assuming here they're gonna go ahead and go for an Instruct Muddy Water. And then I'm gonna U-turn on this Orangaroo next turn. is always a problematic Pokemon. There's the Icy Wind. Could also Wood Hammer right now. Let's see if this KOs. Ah, I thought he was done. I thought he was done. Now, luckily, it's not the worst. Uh, Zygarde's pretty fast. Actually, is it? Pretty sure it's like base 100. So I should get outsped. 95. I think I still U-turn. Flamethrower. Yeah, nice. Get in my Urshifu. Sack that. Moltres took like nothing. Get in the Zern. Try to bait out the uh, Ferrothorn. It's definitely Misty Seed. Oh no, it's Leftovers, huh? I thought it'd be Misty. Now what's nice about being smacked down is I actually get some Leftovers recovery. Or I actually get some uh, Grassy Terrain recovery, but not now. Not now, unfortunately. Here, um, I'm going to protect and go into Rillaboom. Yep. And I'm going to make a bit of a controversial play. I'm of the opinion that they are not about to stay in with this Tapu Fini. But I also can't U-turn. <laughs> I just kind of have to go hard in the Moltres and Geomancy. Yeah, nice. That's exactly what I wanted. No special attack drop, please. Ah, dang, that sucks. That's actually really huge. You may not know it, but that's pretty huge. I should still be able to KO with uh, Dazzling Gleam plus Flamethrower, so I'm going to protect. I should still KO, but that was kind of bad. Come on, I need this to KO. Actually, no, that's definitely a Salt Vest. <laughs> that's definitely a Salt Vest. I got a KO, man. The fact they're running knockoff, I'm still going to do it. Come on. Oh, yeah. No, that's game. That's game. It's incredible just how many of these guys you face. Just how many Ferrothorn you face as soon as you start running Moltres. It's, it's, a, it's a magic perk that no one knows about. Nice one shot. All right, yeah, that's game. GG. Very solid session today. Very solid session. Uh, honestly, from using it, pretty good. I, I think this is actually a really solid Pokemon. Uh, so yeah, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully I'll feel better tomorrow, try to stream or something, uh, but my throat is now killing me, so I'm going to try to recover. Have a nice night, guys. Bye.